the golden light had reached high enough to begin filtering down through the thick foliage. Foliage, again. Seriously, you keep tripping up on that word. I know. Foliage? Yeah, foliage. Shiori nodded. She did not have to fake commiserating with him. Yeah, you can contract some of these. It helps. Oh, it's fine. Because, I mean, the author here does not use a lot of contraction. Yeah, it's like a fancy way of writing sometimes. Because, yeah. like, you can't write with contractions in um, scholarly papers and stuff. I think, yeah. Same. I, I write everything as I talk. Ooh, same. So true. She made her voice small and uncertain, hiding the guilt and disgust she felt over her actions. Subvert? Subterfuge? Is that subterfuge? Okay. Okay. Shiori felt her anger ray. Shiori felt her anger flash in her eyes. Chun saw it too. His sneer faded as her boast. I'm sorry, it is starting to bug me now. What? I might have been. I was wrong. That. In the pronunciation of Chun, it might not be. Ch I don't know. I think it's Chun, like Yu Yun. Chun. Chun. Yeah. So I guess now we have to go back. Do we go back to the beginning? Just carry on. Just again? carry on. I think I'll be fine. Yeah, okay. Well, you just listen to it, I guess, and just like go. No, like, I have to make sure that I've been hearing what you're saying. Chun. It doesn't. It, it starts to sound wrong. So I think it's Chun. Chun. Yeah, Chun. Shorty felt her anger flash in her eyes. Chun saw it too. His. Ni oh, this is why I say Chun because I knew a guy named Chun. Chun and Meijan. Yeah. See, I, it just doesn't sound right. It just didn't sound right as Chun to me after a moment or two. Okay. I was like, Chun. I was like, oh, yeah, I knew someone whose name was like that. Yeah. Chun and Meijan. Okay. The girl only hesitated a heartbeat before. Okay. Honestly, it helps with my editing if you do. Chun. No, that if you do the needed dramatic pauses for it. That's oh, okay. I can add them myself, but it's so much easier if. I do it. Yeah, with okay. just doing your own dramatic pausing of knowing when to just stop and let the moment sink in. I see. Another arrow already drawn. She kicked at his motionless form. Yeah, I got to turn the page. No. Oh, no. Then. Hey, guess what? Yes. You're not only the narrator of this chapter, but you're two other people. Who am I? You're Aang, Rika's brother, and you're Paola. Paola. Old lady. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you want, I can pass that over to someone else. Who? Annie. Paola? Yeah. Yeah, pa she does that. She actually really does a voice that actually fits that Okay, character. pass that on to her then. Yeah. She does, like, she can do, like, this Boston, New York accent thing, like a lady, and it sounds, like, really good. And stuff so like I feel like she would be or a better old yeah she can <laughs> yeah like she played as an adult because sometimes you no, know I, mean, I don't think that there is much of an America equivalent at this point in the world of Avatar so <laughs> true a Boston accent won't really make as much sense true but I feel like she she would have the voice yeah, for it I'll, I'll work with her for that then okay the inner circle would be comprised of the most experienced hunters Kozu Hali and Paola. Shiori assumed. Try that again. The inner circle would be comprised of the most experienced hunters. Kaozu, Hali, and Paoli. Again. The inner circle would be comprised of the most experienced hunters. Kozu, Hali, and Paola. Paola. Again. The inner circle would be comprised of the most experienced hunters. Kozu, Hali, Paola. Shiori assumed. Again. The inner circle would be comprised of the most experienced hunters, Kozu, Howley, and Paola, Shorty assumed. Again? No, no. Tempting as it would be to, set, to say that, you actually got that one. You're right that time. Oh, I can do it one more time. No, no, you're good. Move on. Okay. 
Now their energies were being exerted in an effort to dig a hole in the low spot of the grassy area. Oh, that's sad. <clears throat> she already knew her heart that did she already knew in her heart that it didn't matter. She was going to die here. Her body would probably never be found. Yet another casualty to the vigorous Symmetra Island training process. No one would care. Not even her own brother. She heard them coming. Her execution squad. None had been untouched by the Avatar's fury. They looked as the sea. Yes? I think you skipped a lot. Okay. I probably did. I might have just zoned out for a moment and skipped a bit. Uh... Okay, is it? So I last remember you talking about the one with arrows. Uh, uh, was that a while ago, or? That you had only one blunted arrow left? It only one blunted arrow, the Avatar. For okay, there we go. Is it the Avatar for Rita's yeah, quite? Okay, thanks. Did you forget? Did you skip that somehow? Or? I think. I don't know. I think it was just the pages, and I was like, oh, it's like this. Okay. Technically, they all are. But Paola, the shorter woman, is my actual final instructor. She's firm, harder than... She's firm, harder than Shiyun. Also, I think it's Paola. Paola? Paola. Oh, yeah, because that isn't a Japanese name. Your last line. All the venom and fury you can muster. Your brother was right. You're not meant to be a Yu Yang. And then she knocks you out with a, with a blunted arrow. Ah, oh, fuck. Her. Shoots your ear off. What the fuck? Yeah, she shoots. She shoots your ear off. Read the next sentence. Read the next section. Her arrow took his ear clean off. Damn, sister. You f***ed <laughs> up. And her response is then, who's not meant to be you on now? F*** <laughs> you. I've been a nice guy for both of these chapters I've been in. Yeah, except for this one line where you get to be all hateful and such. And then, and then you shoot off my ear for it. It could be worse. She could have killed you. That's the protagonist of the story. I don't give a sh I'm not reading the story. I'm in it. I'm the protagonist of my story. That's how acting works. You do realize I'm going to have to censor you for all of this, right? This is going to be in the bloopers, isn't it? Cuss, yeah, it is. And thanks for all the work, Tim. You're welcome. Because you don't have to do these. You have to do final exam bloopers. I'm stuck with this. And yeah, that, that's it now. We're done. Sweet. Are you sure? Keisuke was pretty angry with me last night. I don't know how to do that. You don't know how to make your voice small and uncertain? Um. Are you sure? No, the are you sure you got down pat. It's the second sentence you gotta work on. But then it says hiding the guilt and disgust. Yeah. So no, you don't want me to sound you disgusted. Don't, you don't need to sound disgusted or anything. That will all be conveyed by the narrator. Okay. I surrender. Hmm? <laughs> I said the line. Did it not sound good? It sounded like you said I surrender. Okay, so. I mean, is foolish just spoken? Because I can totally just say it. Yeah, that one's a thought. Okay. But... Context for it is probably. Eh, you know, no contact needed. Just say it. A foolish. 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 There we go. <laughs> A so close. I didn't even have to give you tips for that one. That was that was perfect first Thanks. try. High five. I'm getting so much better at this. Cause yeah, you are. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Which was beginning to look like a pincushion, one nearly clipped soccer. <laughs> hey! I tried. <laughs> Soka, come on! Soka, come on! Soka, 
Get your blue covered butt over here! Come on! I have so many takes of these. Appa, 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 Appa. You really only have to do one good one, and you've done like three. Appa. Four. Appa. <laughs> Still only four. Appa. <laughs> oh, here's the next one. Appa, <coughs> yip yip. And yep, yeah, then you're gone. I knew a person named Appa. We went to his camp. I yeah. held fish blood, not, not, yeah, I mean, technically fish blood, but fish eyes and fish hearts. Oh. I wonder how many people made jokes about his name. I don't think not that many people. I think it, it's spelled differently, though, because I think it's a Native Alaskan name, uh, because he's Native Alaskan. Well, that makes sense. Um. And now I'm a bit confused about the origins for that, because... If it would be Native Alaskan, then that would be more of, I guess, in the world of Avatar, a water tribe name. What you supposed to do? Oh, you're, well, as you talk, your mouth m makes little bubbles of saliva and stuff that pop. The microphone picks up those pops and clicks and sounds that your mouth makes. The chemicals in the Granny Smith, like the natural stuff that's in there, gets rid of that sound. Hmm. This is probably the go-to snack for recording sessions because of I that. I didn't know that. Well, you have to know these things when you're a voice actor. 